the most daunting obstacle will be the cargo net. I'm currently on top of it, almost 17 feet off the ground. It's raining and it's cold, around 13 degrees Celsius, 56 degrees Fahrenheit, and the winds are gusting 30 kilometers per hour or 18 miles an hour. And with potentially 10 athletes on the net at once, they'll have to traverse it one leg at a time. The cargo net represents the midpoint of the O course, and the teams will have to climb it twice in succession. I spoke with Tola before this event. He said the team is not happy with the 29th, 27th, and 34th in the last three events to keep them 20 points out of the top 10. He said they had the wrong strategy in the rowing worm and the dragon drive by going out a little too hot. But they are excited about these next two events. He is going to be paired in the second half with back base shortest member Molly Abgarian. So Tolu will be shouldering most of the load on the deadlifts because he is the team's strongest guy. Third victory so far in the CrossFit Games. 90 seconds of pain on this event, the first half of which was the drag. Where did that hurt the most? Getting back to the comparison in Carson, we had to pull the big bob and push it on real grass. Yeah. How did the field turf compare? CrossFit 1 is on the precipice of pushing themselves into the final heat. They're currently in 11th, only two points out of the top 10. Coach Kevin O'Connell told me that while well, Saturday is typically moving day, they want to make that move a little bit earlier. They want to get to the big bob event tomorrow in the final heat to go head to head with the top teams. Kevin said that event will line up well for them because his team loves grunt work. And James, I'd argue that this event has quite a bit of grunt work as well. I spoke to your coach CJ before this event and he said it was all about managing expectations because you're one of the smaller teams here at the CrossFit Games. So how would you rate your performance? You guys have a lot of CrossFit Games experience. In previous years, we've reseeded after each day. Now we're reseeding after each event. What do you think of the change in the schedule? Now with a win, Wasatch would end Rich Froning's streak of six consecutive individual and team championships. And Adrian Conway would earn his third Affiliate Cup title, tying him with James Hobart for the most all time. So the question is, James, are you ready for some company? He'd be in good company, I'd tell him that now. <laughs> Over the past few months, you've been posting on social media that you wanted to stop the mayhem. Where does that confidence come from? Well, you called your shot. It was very impressive, and this was a dominating performance. Four wins in 12 events. What makes this team so effective? 